It's likely you've heard of dyslexia. It's a widely known condition, but understood. As I talk to speech language pathologists about dyslexia and the work I've done in dyslexia, I'll, I often hear, but wait, dyslexia is not in our scope of practice. We can't treat children with dyslexia. We can't assess children with dyslexia. We can't diagnose dyslexia, but actually that's incorrect. It is in our scope of practice. It's outlined in our scope of practice statement, which was uh, created by ASHA in 2001. There's been several papers on it since. And so I'm hoping that with this, this um, clinical forum on dyslexia, I can provide the information on dyslexia that helps speech language pathologists feel more confident in their training and ability to positively impact the lives of children with dyslexia. If your school currently is not using the term dyslexia, these children are the children that are having difficulty reading words compared to their age and grade match peers. It's pretty basic in that way. If they're having difficulty reading words below expectation, then they are at risk for dyslexia early on. And if they continue to have that difficulty, they are dyslexic. So they are on your caseloads. They're those children that have difficulty decoding the words on the page. And they may be called specific learning disabled. Um, they may be called uh, tier two children who need extra support. And some of them have the diagnosis of speech and language impairment because about 50% of dyslexia also have broader comprehension deficits as well. Dyslexia is a language-based disorder, and oftentimes speech-language pathologists are the first professionals that see these children because they present with early speech and language difficulties. So one important role a speech-language pathologist can play in the lives of these children is to educate parents and teachers about the risk of dyslexia for children who have speech and language impairments and also serve as someone who can follow these children over time and monitor their progress to ensure that they're getting the help that they need.